Crunchy Roll Originals. Yeah. So, no one should have been surprised that a well-known streaming service would have tried their hands in producing their own exclusive shows on their own platform. I mean, everyone's doing that now. However, somehow, some way, Crunchyroll's lineup of original works that they made sort of, uh, fell flat on their ass. Now, that's not saying that everything under this title was all bad. I have heard good things about shows like Tower of God, I Am A Spider So What, and Tonikawa, but the majority of shows that are under the Crunchyroll original banner tend to be rated online from eh to oh. But you know what, let's give this banner one more chance, shall we? Let's just see if the criticism that the internet has given it is truly justified. And I think the best show to judge it on is their first original, X-Arm. X-Arm is a 2021 anime series that is based on a manga of the same name, and the series itself was created by Visual Flight, a new anime studio run by a live-action TV director who has never worked on any sort of animation projects, while being animated by people who state they worked as an outsource for different FromSoft games, and was written by a literal Alan Smithy all coming together with the tagline stating that this anime will declare war on all sci-fi around the world. Oh god, the hubris. When I saw the trailer in a few short clips online, I knew this was going to be bad enough to make a video out of. I didn't, however, expect it to be even worse than I imagined, so let's just set our sights to Possibly the newest low in anime, as we take a look at X-Arm. The story revolves around Akira Natsume, your typical 3D anime boy in a world of 2D people. He lives with his brother, who is a cyber engineer, and he has a passion for cooking and a phobia of technology. The latter half will become apparent to the story, never. So life was just going fine and dandy for Akira, until one day... <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish! We then cut to the year 2030, where two... hot babes? are smuggling a box out of a shipping dock, and are trying to defend themselves with guys with guns. For you see, within the box contains Akira's brain... in a machine. Like a ghost in a ship. This machine he's in is known as an X-Arm. One of many highly advanced magical MacGuffins that people use for the benefit of doing crime. As such, the government decides to deal with this by creating a task force dedicated to stopping and destroying these X-Arms. Now, one may think that they would try to retool these things for the betterment of mankind, but that would imply that the government knows what they're doing, and we should all know... I'm the government. I'm the government. I'm the reason nothing works. Now this ragtag group of flesh animatronics is made up of characters like Minami Uzano, the Gynoid Alma, and these other guys. Trust me, you won't care who these guys are when you're watching this. I know I sure didn't. And neither did the show. But they work together to stop these X-Arm crimes with the help of Akira's new ability to hack into any computer system after witnessing two women... M make out? Oh yeah, and there's also this mystery going around that there's another Kira and he used an X-Arm to destroy Japan in 2020 because sure, okay, let's just add that to the list of problems of that year, thanks! Overall, the story was, a uh, alright, nothing really special, in fact, it was kind of a, uh, eh. Really, this entire review is gonna be focused on the animation because not even the greatest story in the world could save you from this. I think the best place to start is with the character models. Because you see, this is a 3D anime. And the 3D is ass. It's the faces, man. Everyone looks like they're from the Uncanny Valley. 
Everyone in the show looks so zoned out, and there's not enough shading in the face to give it depth, making every single character's mugshot look like they're trying to stare into the dark recesses of your soul. Judging. Mocking. And the uncanniness just escalates when you realize these models aren't fully rigged, meaning these characters lack things like proper eye movement or expressive mouths making every single character have to jerk their body and head around to look at things, while their eyes just stay in place as they stare dead into the mass void. Which makes things even worse when you realize everyone talks like a goddamn Muppet. Like I said, because of the lack of rigging, mouth flaps are just kind of that. Flaps. There is absolutely no articulation with the mouths, which makes every single character talk like a big mouth bass with the same exact expression. Like, take a look at this. This girl has the same exact peppy smile in every single scene, even when she's getting stabbed and mauling over it. Or, when the two main characters have to make out for plot reasons, the show tries to censor it with a shining light in order to hide the fact that the two models are clipping into each other similar to a Bethesda game. I mean, what if I just talk like this for the entirety of the review? It would look ridiculous. So yeah, the 3D models look terrible, and even more so when they're next to the two-dimensional characters. Yes, in this 3D anime, there's just random moments of characters and set pieces that are animated in 2D. Now when other media does this, it's for an artistic reason, usually to make someone or something stand out. Like for say, the Iron Giant, which I did do a video on, so I'm gonna leave a little card on top if you want to check that out. But here... The reason for the shift of art styles is probably because the 3D budget ran out. And funny enough, the 2D characters look drastically better than the 3D characters. It's almost like this wasn't supposed to be a 3D anime. Oh, but don't worry, because either 2D or 3D... The animation sucks ass. Okay, I can't do this the entire review. The character's movement was done by using motion capturing technology. And it's Donkey Dick. The movement in this is so stilted and awkward that it reminds me of something out of Gary's Mod. And that's just giving this anime too much credit. Also, this anime has a bunch of animation errors, like clipping, jittering movements because the motion capture wasn't properly optimized, characters just standing like they're basic NPCs, or even better, just frozen in time. Yeah, just a lot of shots, just nothing. Everyone's frozen. There is no movement. Oh, and let's not forget my personal favorite is when the two styles of animation clash in the worst way, making the 3D models look like they're floating in the foreground, and the 2D models look like paper cutouts. Oh yeah, and the 2D animation isn't that good either. It's all just laughable, because even if you didn't have a clue on how CGI works, you can at least tell that there's something not right with this just by watching the clips alone. It's almost like the guy leading this only worked on live-action TV shows, with a team that likely only worked on short cutscenes for video games. I mean, when Season 1 of Ruby can do a better job, you know you're doing something wrong. Just every single thing that could have gone wrong with this has gone wrong. I have never seen anything quite- wait, 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 hold up. Roll that clip again. Just, just roll that clip again. I don't think I edited that. Oh my god, that is in the show! Hey, have you ever had a moment where you're watching something and you notice certain things that the show does, but you don't really go, wow, that's an impressive feat you've done, good job, or that's a really cool technique. Instead, you go, wait, I do that shit on my YouTube channel every single month on a shoestring budget with an outdated editing software. Have you ever felt that? Because that's what I'm feeling right now! Out of everything that is wrong with the show, this is the thing that bothers me the most. Like, I'm actually feeling like I'm being personally attacked. From the obvious zoom-ins to the use of shaky cam, this anime just seems to have all the things to agitate the fuck out of me. 
I mean, this is supposed to be a professional studio, and they're doing shit that I would do. And I don't know about you, but I don't think you should do stuff that I would do in your CG anime that states that it's going to take on all the sci-fi series in the world. Oh, and it doesn't stop there. We also get the most awkward transitions that I've ever seen that try to cut as many animation corners as possible. I mean, look at this. Someone thought this was okay, and they somehow got away with using green screen effects. Which makes things even more out of place next to the 2D and 3D styles. With the most notable, i.e. distracting, being a dust particle green screen in every fucking episode! And it's always on loop, and it never changes from shot to shot! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am speechless! I mean, we're witnessing a new level of bad that has never been seen as of yet! We've broke new ground! X-Arm is awful, but somehow it hits a new meta of awful. From an inept staff going full hubris, to a middling story, to the mannequin characters, to the jank animation and existential crisis level editing, this show manages to fuck up so hard that it creates a new unexplored reach of suck never before seen that not even the voice of Kazuma Kiryu can get us out of. In fact, it just makes it weird. <laughs> Crunchyroll expected this to be their best foot forward for the original brand, but instead it ended up being a shot in the foot that they could not recover. In the end, this show needs to be studied. I'm serious, let's not let this fade to time, because we need to remind ourselves of this and how low we can get in the name of animation. Well, that was horrendous. And if you have any other shows, movies, or whatever that reek of raw sewage, let me know down in the comments below, and it might be featured on a future episode. Except for High Guardian Spice, because I know someone's gonna mention that down there. It's not as terrible as people on this site are making it out to be. You all need to chill the fuck out. But until then, I'm DabCab, this was a trash fire, and I hope you all have a safe and good day.